Something was drawing him in, and it felt peaceful. He sensed liberation. He walked, mesmerized, intoxicated forward, carefully treading onto the swirls, over the center, to the far wall which he looked over. There was a similar, yet smaller circle, with an identical spiral pattern adjoining his, and, tiptoeing, he thought he could see another one beyond it. He looked to his left, he looked to his right. Both confirmed his previous assumptions. At a distance of 10 meters or so from him, on either side, were the wheat walls of three identical circles that were decreasing in size to a center point. He was gobsmacked. But then something else drew his attention and he stared in awe and wonder. The crop between the circles had been flattened too, but this was entirely different to the cyclone swishes within them. The stems of about 20 to 30 plants had been grouped into straight lines and flaxed in a seemingly endless interwoven crisscross of perfect weave. It looked like a basket. Unlike an object of raffial work, the area Harry was looking at must have been 10 meters long and wide.